Hey guys, it's Andrea. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be deep cleaning my kitchen. Now you've seen me clean my kitchen before, but this time we're getting into a deep clean. Now this took me a while, probably a couple hours, but I was so satisfied when I finished, like everything looked so good. So first I'm going to start off with a grocery haul and then we're going to get right into the clean. Hey guys, so we just came back from Walmart and I have a bit of a mini grocery haul here. So I got some walnuts for my oatmeal and I got this Splenda because I'm fasting now so I needed some zero calorie sweetener. And I found these shorts, they were the last one on the rack and I really wanted to get one in all colors but this was the only size that was left and the only one. And I got some seasoning, some juice, some coffee creamer in the huge one. This was only like $5 and some change. And I think it's a pretty good price for the size of it. I got two vanilla yogurts because we eat a bunch of yogurt in this house. Two small tins of biscuits. A huge thing of vegetable oil because I do fry things sometimes. Um, I got some grapefruit, some noodles because that's like a go-to in this house. Uh, some vapor rub and you'll see why in another video. Um, I have some bananas that are not yet ripe, but I'm not in a rush. I got some Oreos for a little treat. A huge bag of chicken nuggets because I got the smaller bag before and we found out that we really, really like them. So I got the big family size bag. I did get three, I guess, uh, like three things of fruit. He likes the mandarin oranges, which is why I got two of them. And just to switch it up, I got the peaches as well. And then I just got a little thing of ranch because I will be making hot wings tonight. But yeah, so this is just my little grocery haul. I don't really shop in, I don't really buy big amounts of food because it's just me and him. So we don't eat all that much food and it's just going to sit here and spoil. So this is what a typical grocery trip looks like for me. Just a few things to get us through the week and that's all. So the first thing I'm going to do is clear off the counter and I'm just going to put away the groceries. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to wipe down this counter and then I'm going to go below it to the cabinets and clean those out as well. told you guys before these cabinets are supposed to be sort of kind of like a bar area so I do intend on turning this into something but as of right now they are empty now moving on to my Keurig area I'm going to clear off the counter and then I'm going to touch the drawers and the cabinets that are both above and below the Keurig This bottom cabinet is where I keep my recycling bin. I feel like it looks better down there than just out in the open. I have yet to get another recycling bin, but I will soon. And this drawer is where I keep my tea and coffee supplies. I feel like having it in the drawer right below the Keurig makes it really easy to reach. Now that I'm done clearing out the drawer, I'm just going to recycle all of the boxes that I choose to get rid of. Moving on to the cabinet that's above my Keurig, this is where I keep all of my baby's extra supplies concerning food and all of his little snacks.
Now I'm cleaning the top of the refrigerator and I found some of my son's old pictures from his daycare. I also decided to go ahead and organize my freezer while I was already up there. My refrigerator wasn't too dirty, I just needed to organize and wipe down the shelves. And now I'm just moving on to the outside of my refrigerator just so I can wipe it down. So I did recently clean my pantry which is why I'm simply putting things back into place instead of taking everything out and wiping it down. Now moving over to my stove, I'm just going to pack up all of the food that I had cooked for that day. And then I'm going to move on to cleaning the entire stove area which includes the vent above the stove and the oven door. Now I did not clean the inside of the oven because I did move into this house not too long ago so the oven really isn't that dirty. Now moving on to the area that's right next to the stove, I decided to remove my mailbox from there because it wasn't really doing its job. I figured that it would be best to put it in my office. Moving on to the drawer that was below that countertop, I'm just organizing the drawer and then I'm going to move below that drawer and I'm also going to organize and wipe down that cabinet.
now for the cabinet that houses all of my seasonings. I just went ahead and cleared everything out and gave it a wipe down. I have quite a bit of seasoning so the system that I came up with was the first shelf was going to be packages of things, the second shelf was going to be seasonings that I don't normally reach for, and then the bottom shelf was going to be seasonings that I reach for for pretty much everything. This is a cabinet that's right above my dishwasher. There's really nothing in there. I just decided to put the things that my son really doesn't eat in this cabinet until I decided to get rid of them. Moving on to the dishwasher, I'm just wiping it down and then I'm going to unload it so that I can load up the new dishes that need to be washed. Now y'all, I know this is a lot of dishes, but this is truly the amount of dishes that we have throughout the day. Here I'm wiping down the countertop that houses my dish rack and then I'm going to go into washing my son's bottles. As you guys have seen in previous videos, you know that I like to finish washing my dishes by cleaning my sink. Moving on to underneath the sink. Underneath the sink, there was quite a bit of little dust and specks that were left on the counter. Now I don't usually use these Lysol wipes but because my mom brought them to my house I went ahead and decided to use them. Moving on to my last countertop, I'm just giving it a quick wipe down and then I'm going to go ahead and clean the microwave. Now 
Now these last two cabinets were above that countertop. One houses all of my Tupperware and portable water bottles. And then the other one houses all of my dishes such as plates, glasses, and bowls. The only thing I'm going to do to them is wipe down the shelves and replace all of the items. Here I'm going to pick up the towels from the floor and then I'm going to wipe down the countertops. I'm also going to wipe down the outside of the cabinets and the drawers as well. And then I'm going to go into sweeping and mopping and then I'll be done with the kitchen. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I really enjoyed cleaning my kitchen today. I hope this encourages you to also deep clean your kitchen or any other part of your house. And like always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!